Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about when should we use interface and abstract class, one of the important basic Java integration. There are two types of inheritance, implementation inheritance, inheritance and interface inheritance. In implementation inheritance is where the subclass inherits the actual code implementation from the parent class. Whereas interface inheritance is where the subclass adheres to the public interface of the parent class. That is just a contract, not the code. Please use the abstract class abstract Java classes when you want to provide some standard code base but want to force the users of your class to complete the implementation. For example, you uh, you create a skeleton Im implementation and the subclasses must write the specific code. The main benefit of interface is to support multiple inheritance in Java. Say you want to uh, use the multiple features, multiple functionalities of Java, then you should go ahead and use interface because Java does not support m extending from multiple classes. You can't extend multiple classes. You can how you can extend only from one class. That's where interface comes and helps us to support multiple inheritance in Java. The class want to use multiple features of Java then you can use interface for example a, a subclass want to thread up want a thread operation and also want write into a file that then you can use runnable interface and serializable interface conclusion if your class want to use multiple features of Java then use interfaces I have just given examples say I have employee and contract employee and regular employee I could see some common behavior if I if I could if I could see com some common behavior okay then I can I don't want the duplication of code in the subclasses or the specific classes or the concrete classes so I can move the common behavior to the to the base class that is parent class then I can force these subclasses to adhere to my contract I can I can write some abstract methods and I am forcing the subclasses to give the specific for that specific code for that contracts so that's where abstract class comes into picture if there, are, if there is common behavior I don't want to have the duplicate code and I am pushing those duplicate code to the base class and I of course I am forcing them to write some specific code as well in case of interface there are no common behaviors okay then only contracts are there they should give the specific code if there is no common behavior and they have to uh, adhere some adhere to some contract then they can go ahead and use interfaces and interface one more benefit is if you want to use multiple features of java then you can go ahead and use interfaces so please remember if you want to um, if you want to implement multiple features then like serializable and runnable then you can go ahead and use interfaces so multiple inheritance think about interface and if there is no common behavior then you think about interfaces if there is common behavior and you want the subclass to force some contract then you can go ahead and use abstract classes hope this video is useful for your interview preparation thank you and all the best